to see. Because, wow. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm gonna heal these guys first for some extra good combo. Oh! Okay. Uh, did you just get the Blast Shard? Oh, no, no you got the upgrade. Fuck. This is like, you always do this. Uh, at at no, least I pressed no. record. There you go. Fuck, well, I guess we're un unintentional start. Hey, welcome yeah. back to Infamous. Oh, wow, the Magnum Bolt. You, I might as well go ahead and mention this now. You remember the one art, uh, holding R2 ability from Infamous 1 that I never used? Yeah. Where you had just a giant stream of electricity happening. This is basically that ability, but for a default blast. And then you also have a different so it's shockwave. Kind of improved that yeah. So it's improved with that regard because you can use other moves instead of just having to rely on that one as being your big move. Yeah, and as you can see here, Cole's shirt was yellow, but now it's white. And you can see the. Yeah, because we're getting we're getting better. Yeah, and you can also see the Union Jack know. on his pants better. <laughs> it's brighter. Yeah. Yeah. Also, because we all know that to be a true hero, you have to be white. Gonna let that sit for a minute. And good. Racist joke over. Hey, Zeke, where have you been, buddy? Speaking of white people. <laughs> what's up, Zeke? Looks what's up with your Elvis fucking ass? Cole? Get your it does look wild. Deviant, homo sapien. You join the militia. But what? Uh, uh, there's a lot of words there that didn't go together very well. I think that's the joke. Yeah. Get it? I'm a spy. For our side. Right. Oh, ye yeah, little fate. Well, my face been shaken before, Zeke. <laughs> eh, eh. Well, Remember the first the game? Uh, uh, Come on, uh, man. Uh, you ready for that true. Power score? So, we just got some new powers thanks to our karma changing. Let's get another power. <laughs> Better not wake up. And yeah. I mean, to be fair, we did say the pacing of the first back. game's powers were weak. So it's like, we're just literally getting power after power. <laughs> Sounds like anyone else is when we touch like a power socket after we unplug something. This controller. My goodness, this controller vibration. Right. <laughs> Yay, five more left. How so, so what's the power we get up? Oh no, the beast went oh, about three, man. about two, three hundred miles closer. Wait a minute, this is the perfect time to be playing this game. The beast is COVID-19. Holy fuck. Oh, Guys, this ability this is pretty good. Which one is it? This is basically the ability that lets you unleash a super attack after yeah, killing an enemy that has a, basically an energy drop for you. Right. Kind of limited in that regard, though, isn't it? You see that? Kinda, but compared to the previous game where it basically sap away no. all of your power, it's I think I prefer it this way, where it's just a concentrated thing instead of you know it uses up all your resources. It gives you flashy combo enders without having to literally use everything. Like, look at that. It's a typical Missouri spring day. Hell yeah. Oh, so, and I stopped a mugging. I agree. <coughs> Don't you just love when you unintentionally stop a mugging? No, but, uh, I agree with you. I think the idea of ultra attacks, is with, which is what they're called, is like... No, ultra attacks the, are... No, the ultra attacks is a completely different thing. It's basically stronger finishers. But the ones you're talking about are ionic powers. Oh, ionic Sorry about that. But the ionic powers were great because instead of like the first game, which is basically just the at that the the lightning bolt coming from the sky, where it drains all your energy. Which speaking this of is... that, that is something that you can unlock later. You might want to come on back. Okay. Well, we didn't have to cut me off for that one. Guys. Right, sorry. Uh, no, I mean yeah, he's right. It's, uh, it, it's that one is one of them, and it's like you can still keep your blast course, so you're not kind of like doing the one cool thing in the game and then the burning all your blast shards and you're kind of screwed. Or blast cores. Battery cores. Screwed. Battery like, cores are the amount of energy you have. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apologies. Um, 
you, you can you can get really really flashy cool combo enders if you just know the right guy to hit. Well, actually, I think it's just random in an inner enemy group. It's not like, hey, well, kill this one specific enemy and you get it, but. Well, oh, well, I thought that was like a visual indicator of them. You only really find out when they f when they die anyway, so it might as well be RNG, really. Oh, okay, so it's something that pops out of a dead enemy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But still, it's a cool system, even though it's like kind of RNG. It's like, yeah, it's, sometimes you get, and it really keeps the game kind of fresh. It keeps the pace well, which I like. Yeah, the, the battles, because well, sometimes you just want to finish the battle and the game will let you, just because, hey, they decided this is the one they just want you to kind of dunk on. By the way, want to learn more about the guy who's kind of controlling the militia here? Here's some audio about him. Sure. Here's some uh, propaganda. You know, make make Numeray great again. I believe in it. Yeah. Wonder when wonder yeah. when we're gonna get the conspiracy theories about it. Fake news. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. You know, fake fake fake, uh, fake monsters. We're not related to them. No, no, of course not. Of course not. No, no, we're not trying to buy your vaccines. You're just crazy. Z, come back. Oh, welcome back. You kind of uh, went somewhere and came right back quick. That was quick. On this militia, uh, I didn't even get time to uh, have some time. But boy, is it worth it. <laughs> you found out where they're keeping quo. Hey, remember the person who got kidnapped two parts ago? Eh. She's just kind of hanging out. Yeah, we found her. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, we did kind of just drop that for a minute. You know, because we went to go help Nick. Yeah. Some people have a real bad problem of, oh, we're dropping the problem to help random character. Well, I think in this one it's more like, you know, the main thing that we have to do is fill a blast cores. What's our motive for following this girl? She has a blast core. Well, I kind of get that, but, like, it, it was kind of a problem in some of the Sly Cooper games, where it's like, there still is the justification, but it's, like, kind of annoying that it happens almost... It, yeah. it happens multiple times in the series. These guys used to fight against them. Yeah, that is a fair complaint. Think we break them out? Yeah. Give them guns? Wait, 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 wait. Free cops? No, no, no. If we do that, I'm out. I think about it, Cole. Put <coughs> cops Excuse me. Back on the street? Hell, I could pay off in the long run. Screw that, man. Don't you want to? Uh, baby. I know you. If you me. couldn't tell at this point, Nyx is basically gonna be the one goading you into making the evil choices of the game. Whatever. Yeah. We literally get the angel and devil on our shoulder in Zeke and Nyx. Yeah, and later... Oh, actually, no, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Because that is actually a bit of a spoiler. Right. And it's like, to me, I think that, that's kind of a trope in these... That's the one trope I don't like that this game kind of added with the evil karma system is that they added the whole this is the evil insert, this is the good insert. And it's like... You kind of de-characterize characters in that regard. Okay? I like Zeke in this game, but it's like the fact that he's the good one and it's like supposed to help you make the good decisions kind of outweighs. It's kind of dumb when Nyx is the bad one, and it's like in any other social situation, Cole's gonna listen to Zeke over Nyx every time because he's his best friend and he knows her or yeah, he knows him. Yeah. So listening to Nyx doesn't make a lot of sense if she's new. Yeah, unless he's just like, I have powers, I want to make chaos, or something like that. You see, like this, Yeah. And, you, you know, you were actually speaking then, earlier about the ionic powers. This was just kind of random. Like, this guy has it here, so. I'm not going to yeah. use it because it kind of builds evil points, and I don't want to build evil. So do they build evil points in just using it in the open world, or when like I even in combat? Use it in the open area, it can get it gets civilians caught in the crossfire. So I'm not going to bother. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that guy That's was excited. Don't get soft on me, Cole. Those cops will turn on you first chance they get. Let's burn that place down. Eh, no thanks. You know, Zeke makes a good point. He's also my best friend. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's, that's, that's why I think Nyx being a, an insert evil character is like, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, because it's like, why would he ever listen to anyone over Zeke in that regard? Police. Especially with the Like, I understand if Zeke is doing some shady stuff like in the first game. Bust those boys out, you're gonna have a hard time holding them back. Yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, I don't know. So what are we doing here? We are essentially freeing cops. Uh, very poignant mission in our book. This game came out like almost 10 years ago. <coughs> and yet it has an interesting message for 2020 world. Well, not even 2020 world, we're all too worried about the damn sickness, but... Yeah, no, you get the point. Yeah, I think. I think? I like that, I think. Yeah, I think. And Bertrand giving out more of his propaganda. Fantastic. Oh yeah, actually, now that we're looking at this right here, you can see the Sly Cooper on Cole's backpack pretty... Uh... Yeah. Pretty plainly. Let me take care of this helicopter first, because that's going to be the biggest pain in this mission. So many enemies. Come on, die, helicopter, die. Yeah, it's dead. These guys are just here. <laughs> okay, you know what? In hindsight, I could have used my tornado ability to defeat all of them, but whatever. Right. This is such an exciting trip to the city. Goodbye. I don't know. It's more, it's more of an exciting trip to see than it. Oh right, I can pick up cars. I should probably use that. Yeah, it's like you can they add that ability to this game and you kind of forget about it. Yeah, because there's game. just really much better... Like, for one, it's not really that orthodox. It's very unorthodox, and there's also just much better R2 abilities later. Yeah, there's just, yeah, and there's just much better melee in this game in general, where it's like, it kind of reminds, eventually, the picking up the cards kind of just is a throwback to when uh, Infamous 1 is just basically you aiming at everything all the time. And it's like, eh. It shows how this game has evolved so much beyond that. Yeah. This is fun, chasing a moving target. Mish is here to keep you safe by shooting you and beating you up. I mean, you know, if you really want people to just stay in their homes and uh, be good little pets, you probably should just, you know, violate their human rights. That's all I'm saying. You have to be legally That's able to first, but... <laughs> well, okay, let me let me just tear that down a minute. <laughs> if you're violating someone's human rights leg on, I really don't think you care much about the legality of it. Not usually, I, I will admit. I will Although, admit. I mean, this is the wrong time to be saying something like that, but it's like, in this situation, if it was like a militia thing, yeah. Don't think they're gonna care what's legal or not. They have guns, and you don't. Uncomfortable silence. Indeed. Yay, I now have access to the Magnum Bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. 
There you go. So let's show that off. As soon as I can find an enemy to shoot. Wow, look at that thing. That is powerful, but that takes a lot of energy. Yeah, I guess that's one of the neg it is one of the downsides of the Magnum it takes energy. Yeah, yeah, I got him. Alright, how do I get you out of this thing? That sounded like, sounded like Barrett for a minute. Get us out of here! Oh, yay, this is fun. Mashing a shoulder button. Like mashing a normal button I can deal with, but a shoulder button is awkward. Oh, yeah, it's, especially in the PS3 era. Those shoulder buttons are fucking ass. Yeah. So now we got a storm of building. Yay. To be fair, that's such an infamous staple at this point. Storm the building. I've stormed, we've stormed so many buildings, I'm surprised Cole doesn't have like a side job as like an exterminator or something, exterminator or something. Yeah, a human exterminator. Oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> True. I mean, well, human quote unquote. Alright, and tornado. Wow, I blew up. I, Let's go. Considering there's rocket launchers in the middle of that, I'm not surprised. Right. You know, I think I don't think you're supposed Vortex. to fight all of these guys and just go straight to the back. It's probably, that's probably true. That's what storming the building probably means. I'm gonna die, but first I'm gonna put the sword on my back. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, at least you died with valor. Jeez, there are so many of them. It's kind of difficult to Let's just go. actually go go through all of them. Yeah, I think that's why it's like you're probably right. You're not supposed to. I'm gonna fight him anyway. Oh my god, I really had a win. You ever have a win in Smash Brothers and just hit the wrong direction on the stage? That guy the refused to get hit, and I am probably gonna die from this. But I <coughs> don't care. Those are cops. Okay. They're fighting against us! Oh my god! No, the Power cops aren't fighting us. Cops are fighting the bad guys. No, it looks like the. I know, but the. Okay, leg on. Killed the joke. There you go. Rip. Rip that joke. Just, Just like that thing. Can't get Just out with like, like Cole getting out. hit with a fucking mortar. <laughs> Mini cannon mortar. He just strikes it off like he's Brock Lesnar. You know, I like how they have actual RPGs and then the mortar is like stronger. That's weird to me. Even though it's kind of accurate, it's like I've always considered the RPG these stronger weapons. And how does he destroy it by lifting it up? Wow. That's. I mean, hey, have you ever like moved one of those things? They're heavy. Yeah, they are heavy. And there's a couple the more, so we gotta destroy them before we can find Quill. I got a tornado! Who wants to see? Wow, nobody? Okay, that's that's disappointing. I don't wanna see I don't wanna see it, yeah. I mean hey. I'm being honest, I don't wanna see your coat. I don't want to see it. If you were in a completely Got safe it. spot, would you want to see it? Okay, I mean, I respect that, but it's like, just because I'm behind closed doors doesn't mean I want to see it. Still can not consent. Uh, 
All right, and finally. Oh, yay! Thanks for oh, thanks oh, for the tornado, dude. Oh, and now we can free so can quote. You, can and, you? Hmm. I wonder what this it, thing is. Free quote. It sounds like you said free throw in a bad way, like you just were illiterate. Free throw. Free throw. Yeah. Free throw. So can you store the ionic powers for like a later battle? You can hold on to them until you use them up. Like that. Well, they don't go away. You, but you can't. You can get you can more. Hold one forever. You can hold on to. Like you can upgrade it to a maximum of three that you can hold on to at once. But until you use them up, you hold on to them forever. That was easy. Nothing twenty thousand gotcha. points couldn't handle. But walking away, I don't know. I got the feeling maybe I'd overdone it a little. Oh great. We've activated the secret lab. Treatment unlocked. Stereotypical villain with three. Sorry. That machine you were hooked up to, what the hell was it? Not now. <laughs> You all right? What the? Let's get out of here. So giant ice creatures, giant ice men. So now is the point where Quo pretty much starts to become an interesting character. Oh, you know, I I was kind of trashing this weapon, this uh, version of the sh default blast earlier, but I love how powerful it is. It's basically a souped-up version of the older one. Yeah. Because it kills the standard militia in two hits. One, two. One. Which is good because you're getting surrounded by a lot of them. Yeah, but it's also super precise and, again, uses up a lot of energy. I got a tornado. I'm, I feel like using it. Well, good time to use it. You're almost dead and literally fighting hordes of people. Yeah. And I still died. Well, I know I just rescued you from being trapped in a giant ice prison, but do you mind helping me? No, I I'm good. I mean, y'all kind of made me wait for like an extra week. So y'all can stick around. I think I'm fine. I'll, I'll let you wait. I'll, I'll let you figure this one out, Cole. Yeah, this is a protect mission for Quo specifically. This is fun. Fun! I can hear the air quotes. Good. But it's not a terrible mission. I mean, to be honest, like, if this is bad, missions aren't as, like, or mediocre and monotonous as. Uh, Infamous, ah, Infamous 2's bad missions aren't as monotonous and mediocre as Infamous 1's bad missions. Yeah, fortunately enough. Now, all these ice guys do in this specific mission is just jump around and do absolutely nothing. They don't attack you ever, so you don't have to worry about that. Right. At this point, they are on they only exist for story. Why weren't you doing that in the actual game? Hey, I was in there first. <coughs> hey, 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 hey. You're getting a little too ahead of yourself, Quo. Just because you got frozen in the nice prison doesn't mean you get to get in there first. I don't care about the frostbite. Eight hours later. Later. And Quo's dead from frostbite. Good job. <laughs> Oh, mission's complete, just like that. Leading the charge. And now we can't do the evil mission unless we replay the entire game. Yeah, whatever. Pills oh well. What are these? There's like for maybe a stream Talk we should soon. just go through some of the evil missions in the older the games. Back on maybe summon one and summon two. We could do that. I don't feel like ever revisiting one ever again, considering yeah. it's infamous maybe one and I've played it like five times and okay. I don't want to touch it ever again. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> and it's so monotonous. But yeah, uh, maybe for two then. Yeah, we might show off some of the evil side missions and stuff into for like a live stream or something, but I don't know. 
I think we so should maybe do... throw apart or something. I don't know. Another day. Yeah, maybe maybe for that. I don't know, but well, maybe sure. I think maybe sure. if this mission is what I okay. No, this mission is not gonna be short enough for us to do it in one part. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time when we overcharge some some uh transformers. Right. You say that. See you, you next know, part. I was about to say you say that like a, like that's a normal thing, but then we have electrical superpowers. Yeah. I mean, every day is, yeah, every day is a fucking thunderstorm with Cole's powers in. I mean, it, I'm surprised Zeke doesn't live with, like, a million surge protectors. See you next time.